Hello, I'm Ralph Gable for the Electronics, for the Inquisitive Experimenter YouTube channel. Have you ever been modeling an antenna and 4NEC2 and simply wanted to get at the data it displays on the various graphs? Maybe you want to get a better graph of the data or do some calculations based on the data. Trying to get that kind of data from the dot out files is intimidating because the data simply isn't organized there in a way that makes these sort of things easy to get to. In this short video, I'm going to show you a quick way to get at some of the data you might be interested in and import it into Excel or an application of your choice. If you find this video helpful, please click on the like and subscribe to the channel. Now, Let's dig into the getting data out of the F4NEC2 antenna modeling application. So here I had designed this very nice folded dipole for VHF. Its center is 146 megahertz. But you see the data that I see here. Well, what exactly is this over here? And what is that over there? And what is the best place? And so I wanted to get more information out of this. We can get, we can view SWR here and we can gain and, and here we can see the X value comes to zero right at 146 where I want it to be. That's all well and good, but I want to see more data than this. So where does the output data from this program reside? Well, if you go to your C drive and you go to 4NEC2 folder there, and underneath there, there's a folder called the out folder. And there's all the outputs from everything. And so this is my antenna that we were just looking at. This is the output data that you see displayed here. So I say, oh, great, I got all my output data. So I'll just open that. Well, here is all the output data. And it's not exactly organized in a way that makes it convenient for me to inhale that into, let's say, Excel or some other spreadsheet. And I got all, you know, discouraged and all that, and I just wanted the output. Well, there's an easy way to get at it. If, and it's kind of funky here. You have plot, and then you say, okay, I want SWR. So you click on SWR. Now it says... The data is exported to plot.txt. Great. Notice where it's put. In my case, it's put on the D drive under the slash 4NEC2 folder under the plot folder plot.txt. Now, it reuses this every single time. So here it opens it in notebook for me. Here are all my frequencies. Here are all my SWRs and a nice format that I can copy and paste into Excel. So if I do that and I do a copy, then I can open Excel here. Let's open Excel up and create a blank one here. I can paste this in here and there we are. We have the frequency in megahertz, the SWR. And now I can select all of this all the way up to 148 megahertz. And I can do a chart, a very pretty chart, which tells me a whole lot more than the one that you see in 4NEC2. I can really see where everything is and exactly where the dip is in the SWR. I can fancify this to my heart's content so I can see everything I want. Now, the downside of this is, is that if I go here and say plot the real or the imaginary, it's going to overwrite that plot.txt. You have to close this plot.txt in Notepad before you do that. Otherwise, it'll tell you it wrote it out, but it doesn't. So you saw plot and real. Let's just say the real portion. And it says, see, notice 4NEC2 plot.txt. Plot 
same exact file name, but now notice it is the real RN, so we see the real portion. So you have to kind of take this piece by piece by piece with the information that you want here and send it out to this plot.txt file. Do a control A to copy everything that it shows up. A control C to actually copy it. So control A selects it all. Let's do that, say XN. We do a control A to select it all, a control C to copy it all. We go over to our spreadsheet where we want to paste it, and then we can do a control V paste. So there is my X values there, and you can see all of the X values. And you just continue that process, and now you can get all the data out of 4NEC2 without having to look at this mess that is here. This has all kinds of information, some of which you may be interested in, some of it you may not, but it's all there. This makes it a little bit easier to get at and organize in your spreadsheet and display it and chew on that data any way you want using whatever, whatever formulas or whatever you want to do. So there you go. A quick way to get data out of 4NEC2 so that you can see exactly what you have on the screen. Easy as pie. Well, actually the only thing easy about pie is eating it, unless you prefer to divide 23 by 7, and that isn't exactly too easy as it goes on forever. Well, job security, I suppose. Anyway, getting simple data out of 4NEC2 couldn't be much easier. If you found this video helpful, please click on the like and subscribe to this channel. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Toodaloots!